was the first black woman to vote in Dallas. In the 40s and the 50s, civil rights leader Juanita Kraft helped create nearly 200 branches of the NAACP all across the state of Texas. But the place that she called home in South Dallas is now a landmark, but it's in desperate need of repair. Our Aaron Jones sharing how the South Dallas community is fighting now to keep a piece of history standing. At first glance, this home looks like any other in the neighborhood. But when you walk up, you realize it's so much more. It belonged to Juanita Kraft. She's had uh, a tremendous influence. She's one of Dallas's most recognized civil rights leaders. Kraft lived here from 1950 to 1985 when she died, leaving behind quite a legacy. Well, Ms. Kraft was uh, definitely the first African American female voter for the city of Dallas. Juanita Kraft was the first African American woman to serve on Dallas City Council. She also organized local and state chapters of the NAACP and fought to integrate DISD, UT's law school, UNT, and the State Fair of Texas. She was really, really a proponent of making sure that everyone had civil rights. Most of Kraft's planning took place here in her home meeting with members of the community, and even some pretty big names. So this table is where um, uh, Thurgood Marshall uh, wrote one of his many speeches. Gellington spent time in this house. Martin Luther King spent time in this house. This home so rich in history, now struggling to stay alive. Just two weeks ago, a pipe burst. Now close to $200,000 in repairs is needed. Some of the um, sheetrock uh, came uh, apart from the roof of the house. The floors and the walls still waterlogged. Dallas's Office of Cultural Affairs manages this property, but doesn't have the money to pay for repairs. Now the only way to preserve this piece of history is with the public's help. Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. The Dallas Parks Foundation is taking donations if you'd like to help preserve the craft house. We have added a link, by the way, to our website to make it simple for you. Just go to cbsdfw.com links.